with the possibility of parole. That is the sentence a self-admitted serial killer received today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Terrence Lee. Robert Rimberg Jr. pleaded guilty to killing four people. In 30 years, the judge says he is eligible for parole. And the victim's family tells us that's frightening. News Times Meg Shaw was in the courtroom today and spoke with those family members. Unfair and not enough. That is what the victim's families are calling today's sentence, telling me they don't believe justice was served inside the Cuyahoga County courtroom. Shackled and cuffed. Robert Rembert Jr. walked into the courtroom today for his sentence hearing, answering to the murders of four people. Kimberly Hall, Renee May Payne, Morgan Nitzel, and Jerry Rembert. Just one day after pleading guilty to their deaths. Robert Rembert pled guilty to aggravated murder. And one by one, the families of the victims came forward, telling the courts how the murders changed their lives. We just miss her. This was totally senseless. Then it was Rembert's turn. He stood up and apologized. There's nothing I could possibly say that could change what happened and what I did. All I can say is that I'm sorry. Then came Rembert's sentence. Life in prison with the eligibility for parole after 30 years. But this will be his second time in prison. He's already served time for killing a man back in 1997. Killing these four victims after being released. And the victims' families, today they were stunned that he has the chance to get out yet again. You can't put a price tag on somebody's life. You can't, there's no time that you can give him to justify that. But then you only give him 30 years? That's, that, to me, that wasn't no justice. He, he got off. You know, just the thought of him being eligible for parole one day, to me, is just wrong. He's already been convicted of murdering somebody. They let him out once. They let him out once, and he killed four more people. So hopefully the parole board never lets him out again. Now, all three families who were here today tell me they plan to be at each and every parole hearing when Rembert's eligible in 30 years to make sure he never gets out again. In Cleveland, Meg Shaw, News 5. Right now.